Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and today we're going to install our X-Pray 4-inch LED amber fog lights in the Land Cruiser. We did run into a couple problems with the housing, so please make sure if you're doing this and you're following anything in this video that you watch it the whole way through, and especially post any of those questions you might have in the comments below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. You'll find links to them in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. Please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. The first thing we have to do is get these light housings off the Land Cruiser and then we're gonna have to cut out these blanks kind of a mess up here so I'm gonna have to take these screws out of these brackets that are holding this up and I'm gonna take the signal light off as well all right guys so the first thing I need to do is get these blanks out of the housing it's really thin plastic so I'm just gonna take my little utility knife here and it's kind of and it just just easily comes off and that's out of there is get this housing off of these lights to do that you have to back out this adjustment screw and now this light is just held into the housing with some metal that it rotates on in the housing the standard ARB mounts are these two holes in the lights that you would get from ARB or that are designed for this pop right into these two brackets. One of the solutions the guys on MUD have had is to use some washers, nuts, and bolts to go through these and then drill a hole in this housing on each side so that it lines up. The first thing that we're going to need to do is trim these tabs so that this can drop in there and then we'll use some of our hardware to see if we can get that mounted up right. So this is definitely in the way, so I think the first thing I'm gonna shave off is just this piece right here and see how that works for me. Okay, we got this one little piece off. Just really trying to take as little material as I need to to make this thing fit. Oh, look at that. All right, that actually is close. Housing is not quite centered. Not what you can see that. So let me show you the difference here, an uncut one and a cut one. I've taken that large hole off and just cut the rounded edge, kind of made that a little more flush. And over here, so far I've just taken that one larger hole. This seems to be centered in the housing now. I have the holes from the housing lined up with these perfectly. It's centered this way, and I can see that it's centered that way. So I know some people put these extra screws through this part of the housing and I'm just not exactly sure how they did that because mine has these little slots so I don't know if I'm gonna have a place to do that. So what I'm starting to think I might do is just bolt this in. So the bolts that are gonna go here are probably gonna be enough to hold it. So right now what I need to do is mark these holes into this housing, drill that out, and get my hardware in there to hold this all together. If I'm not confident that's enough then I may put some epoxy on here and actually permanently glue this housing to here. I'd rather not do that, but we'll see how it goes. So close to the housing where it holds the light. I don't know if that's gonna, well, that's gonna work. Decided to drill it just to where I can get that screw in, but I won't clip that edge. Still feels pretty strong, should be okay. Now I'm hoping all this lines up right so I can get my bolts through there. So it looks like that's going to work. Probably the biggest problem, this screw on the back side doesn't really fit flush. So now that's nice and tight on this bracket. That is not going anywhere. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. For this we're using one inch long quarter inch stainless bolts with just small washers and a lock nut right here. And so now these are all in there really tight. That's going to hold up really good. And now all I need to do is get this in and this bracket is a really tight fit because these tabs want to push but I was able to get it in there once and I'm gonna try it again here. Alright so this side we're just going to slide in and get make sure the tabs are over the housing, the ARB housing, and then this side we're just going to push it in and get it down on there and we just have to make sure these tabs go over the ARB housing and it's so stinking close so now I get the bolt in a little bit I can kind of push this these tabs up on here okay got it on there that is awesome I want to center it here's the interesting thing I'm not going to be able to get a nut on this side 
because it's too close to this pivot point on the housing. Um, but that's okay because there is no way this thing is coming out of there, right? These pins are really locking this housing in. And so what I am going to do though is I'm going to put a thin nut over this side, kind of one of the just flat non-lock washer nuts. I honestly could probably get away with not even doing that. I test fit the light and it works great. So this is it's perfectly centered. Probably the biggest downside is the light sits quite a ways out, but I think that's what a lot of other people's solutions sit pretty far out, but it looks okay. I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and take this back out and use it as a template for this one and cut it to the same way, except in reverse for the other side. And then I'm gonna throw them into the truck and show you what they look like. The second one went super quick because I kind of knew exactly what I was going to cut and how I was going to do it. And again, this thing is in there super, super tight. It is not going anywhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and get them installed and plugged in and see what they look like. The plug that came on these was designed for a Jeep, but it has this connection here that I'm going to undo. Some Land Cruisers don't have this exact plug, but some do, and mine does. I've been told this will fit right in, and it looks like it's going to. And look at that. It fits perfectly. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, let's see if it works. And it did not work, but there's a good chance these are in backwards. Try it the other way. All right. So it's funny. The backwards way doesn't click because the tab's on the other side, but that's the way that lights them up. I had a little failure yesterday. That nut that I put over the bolt on the inside pushed up against the housing and cracked it on one side it cracked it really bad on the other side just on this side just a little bit now i happen to have this jb weld plastic bonder that i bought just for this project this housing the plastic thought it was stronger than it was and since this nut was sort of sitting at an angle and not really flat on the plastic that's what caused it to crack and as a result since my nicely perfectly drilled holes for these bolts are a little bigger than they used to be when this is all installed on here, it actually wiggles just a little bit. I think what I've decided to do is glue it. Not what I had wanted to do. I also went ahead and put a one inch bolt on both sides instead of the three quarter, just so these are coming through far enough and I can get the housing nice and centered in there. So my plan is just to put a drop of this, not too much, just a little tiny bit on each of these flanges. I mean, I wanna be able to take this out again if I decide to do something different. So look how big the hole is on this one, pretty large. So this was definitely a pretty huge failure. Be really, really careful with this plastic. It's, so you can see where I've got epoxy in each corner holding this together. Um, I don't think that's gonna go anywhere at this point. Now I'm gonna drop these lights in here, um, reinstall the adjustment screw and hook up the wiring and hopefully get these things aimed. The cool thing is you saw earlier that these actually hook up to the wiring harness that's in the Land Cruiser, except that they're backwards, so it won't click, but it goes together nice and tight. I'm just going to run some electrical tape around that to hold it in. Another issue that I've noticed, this is sort of angled out away from the truck. Here, you can kind of see it from that angle, or this one, when this side is perfectly straight. I decided to pull it back out and... I just took my little Dremel to cut the glue. It was still pretty soft. And then I used a couple pieces of zip tie to kind of shim this out. So before you install you, or, or you glue or make anything permanent, make sure this line of your housing, this line on your ARB housing are actually parallel to one another. So far we've had these installed in the vehicle for a few weeks now. We're really, really loving them at night. You'll find links to them in the description below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.